first thing I'm going to do, brief description of how I see the world right now that I want to share with you. And number two, what are the implications then for forming companies? At the end of the day, a company is an answer to a question that life or someone has posed. Well, I will now argue for three to five minutes that you and I, Donald Trump and all the others, live in a matrix, we are shaped by a matrix that sets the rules of the game. And I'm not talking about the future, I'm talking about now. This planet is now a planet of capitalism. There is no other system today. All countries, 200 countries on planet Earth, are now market economies. We are in the first stages of the fastest urbanization documented in human history. The fastest urbanization ever. You were born into a planet with 200 countries. We will now transform this planet into 600 cities. And those 600 cities will account for 80% of the world population, 75 to 80% of the world population, and 90% of the world value-added economic activity will be centered around these 600 cities. The rest you can forget. It's transformed into junk space. Space with limited economic value, no universities, no shopping, no fun. But these cities are here to stay, and we will see a world of cities rather than a world of countries, with all the implications that this will have for distribution, forming companies, creating answers to questions, because now there will be new questions asked by life. Because the moment you can make one, you can make many. And the moment you can make one, you can't protect number two. Anything that can be digitized will be digitized and copied. So the matrix, ladies and gentlemen, of capitalism, cities and digitization sets the rules of the game now. And these rules, I guess, you and I will have to live with for the foreseeable future. Now, we are going to look into the future. We have the matrix. We have the matrix of capitalism and cities and digitization. We have the principle for making money, temporary monopolies. And now we're going to look at some fundamental changes that I guess will take place. This is the total amount of human knowledge at our disposition. I say it again. This is all of it, the total amount of medical knowledge, of archaeology, fashion, new materials, energy production, the total amount of knowledge double every second year. But if you can articulate it, if you can write it up in the form of a book, you can digitize it. And if you can digitize it, you can copy it. And now the machine has started. There is another type of knowledge. It's been there forever. Human beings, we know more than we can say. This is the material that we will make temporary monopolies out of in the years to come. Higher education, ladies and gentlemen, any form thereof, is becoming necessary, but not sufficient for a good life or for success. And we believe that this is one of the reasons for why people now cluster together in places like Silicon Valley or Rehovot outside Tel Aviv. In why? Because if you're going to share this knowledge, you have to be extremely close to each other and over a long period of time. The third component in redoing the commercial landscape, creating opportunities for temporary monopolies, we are lowering all the transaction costs on planet Earth because of our machines. The cost for a transaction is falling. Any human activity can now and will now be organized in a different way. And now we can start companies, form them around lower transaction costs and redo complete industries. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you.